Get it late. Just don't hate. Okay, you little run. It's our baby. I accidentally was just driving on the wrong side of the street. Oh, I'm gonna admit it. I wasn't gonna say anything to you guys, but. This who do I look like? Not they made. Do y'all hear them freaking creatures outside? What are those things that go? <laughs> I'm coming for you like too. too. Super excited. My brother is having his baby today. Okay, let's take a smell test. Peach green tea with lemonade, but mended. Thank you. Wee. Did you run out of cereal? Boop, boop, boop. I'm gonna take dancing classes. I don't know how to do it. Dear diary, in a few days I turn 24. Does that mean I'm grown grown? I mean, I think I've already been grown, but anyways, 24 sounds like a big age. So I wanted to take some time to reflect on a couple of things I've learned in the past year of my life. One, forgive your mom or your dad or whoever it is in your life that was an adult or parent figure because now that you are grown, you know how hard it is to be a parent while still dealing with your own personal life issues and they probably did the best they could two the best money spent isn't on material things but experiences three always use eos shave butter 24 hour moisture shave cream i have been using this shave cream since i was in my 20s and it's the one that i always come back to no matter how many other shaving creams i try i love this one because it doesn't leave my skin dry it has rich shea butter that comforts and protects your skin from irritation razor bumps and razor burn and it's gynecologist tested and approved to use on your entire bikini lady part area okay it is the perfect barrier between your skin and the blade it provides 24 hours of moisture leaving your skin down there soft and smooth and plus a little bit goes a long way and you know with summertime already here we want to make sure everything is nice and groomed especially in our lady bits area so that we can be confident and enjoy ourselves in the sun without having to worry about the little prickles and stubblies. So make sure when you go to shave anywhere on your body this year, you're using the EOS Shave Better 24 Hour Moisture Shave Cream. I will have this linked in the description box. Thank you again to EOS for sponsoring that portion of today's video. Four, try new foods that you maybe didn't think that you liked when you were younger. You don't know how much your taste palette has changed. Five, you are so much prettier and skinnier than you think. Give yourself grace. Nice people never win is a lie. Be kind to everybody, anybody. It will work out in your favor. Just be nice, be kind, and treat people how you would want to be treated even if they wrong you. Don't tell anybody all your business. Talk to God about it, journal, whatever you need to do. This is something that I've really had to work on, but... It's the best kept secret. It doesn't matter how deep your friendship is or how good of a friend a person is. It's just never in your best interest to share every little thing that's going on in your life, whether that's good or bad. Don't be too quick to cut off your friends, okay? Your friends are humans and they deserve some grace. And if they're willing to right their wrongs, if it's a situation where you feel like someone has done something to you, allow them to make it right. And probably the most important one on here, build a relationship with God and stand on it. Stay firm in your beliefs, stay consistent in praying, stay consistent in church, stay consistent in building new relationships with people who know Christ better than you. That goes into my next thing. Don't stress about life, okay? God got you. Make a plan with God. Let it flow. Learn to adapt and everything will work out exactly how it's supposed to because again, create a morning and an evening routine, okay? And stick to it. I mean, I know it's easier said than done, especially when we get into seasons of our life where everything is just kind of all over the place. The most important thing that we can do is use those little areas in our day to stay consistent and to be stable. Work hard, you'll never have as much energy and time as you do now. Educate yourself and get things done, okay? Faith without works is dead, yeah. You gotta mm -hmm, get up and get on your Zoom, baby, okay? Another one, get a credit card and treat it like cash. Pay it on time. Please do not run up your credit card debt, baby. It will matter later, even if it doesn't matter right now. I know Gorilla said um, something about she don't care about her credit. She might be rich tomorrow. Okay, we need the good credit, okay, baby? Even if you got the cash, 
Credit is everything. Not all hobbies have to be income streams. Find something that you love to do and that you don't have to profit from. Okay, I can't tell you how many things that I'm just like, I do it one time and I'm like, I could start a business off of this. Everything is not meant to be your business, baby. Okay, there are things that you can enjoy that you don't need to make money off of so that you can actually enjoy the activity without the pressure and the stress that comes behind it being a source of income. Stop gossiping. If the only type of conversation you can hold with somebody is talking about other people, you don't need to be talking to them anyway. So those are the things that I've learned. Y'all are about to see a very much chaotic vlog. Um, so hopefully you enjoy a little bit off of to a rough start in the 24th chapter, but nevertheless, I'm blessed to have made it to 24. Welcome back to another vlog. Hopefully this is the intro. I don't really know what's going on, but it's my birthday weekend. Turn up, I'm gonna be 24, big period. <laughs> yeah, anyways, I just wanna start the vlog because I don't really know what the weekend is gonna entail. Y'all know we was gonna do this, this, that, and then it looks like we're definitely staying in Dallas because we didn't go anywhere. My friend's on her way and we just gone. It's Friday, the 23rd, so that's my birthday. It's on Sunday, two days. But yeah, we're gonna go get my toes done. I think I was in and off the last vlog and I was telling y'all I need to get my toes done and stuff. So my friend's gonna come over because she's off of work today and we're about to go try to find a little late night nail bar thing because me and Aaron were supposed to go this morning and then he got caught up with work and the kids went to their grandma. So I'm just like, okay, well, I'm gonna just go with my friend Tamik instead because Aaron was saying we could go in the morning, but I'm like, no, I'm trying to go today. I'm really just being impatient, so I want to go today, so I'm going today. So anyways, yeah, that's the first thing. I just want to come pick y'all up because y'all know I always want to do everything with y'all and talk to y'all. <laughs> like, seriously, because I really didn't need to pick up the camera, but here we are. I was doing a little face mask on the couch earlier because I didn't think I was going to do anything because my, my, my friend was like, nah, girl, we just go tomorrow. And then she texted me and she was like, I'm on my way, so get yourself together. And I was like, oh. Well, I'm literally on the couch watching baddies with my face mask on. So I'm gonna go put some clothes on. I have on some pajamas because I had took a shower and just, I was getting ready for bed and then I was just planning on going to the nail shop tomorrow. But now I found somebody to go with me because I didn't want to go by myself because I got to go to a new place. I just, the way social anxiety be eating me up. Let me make sure I got it all off. Definitely not. Okay, I told y'all I can't see in the viewfinder. Should I just go upstairs and rinse my face? Yeah, come on. Let's, well, she's gonna be here and I'm gonna have to open the door for her. So I was like, I'm gonna just save myself the trip upstairs and rinse my face off in the face. Yeah, me. I don't know what I'm gonna put on though. Cause she low key wanna go to the bar. That's what it is. She find any excuse to wanna go get a drink. That's the first time I'm, I've used that face mask. Trying to see if I can hear her pulling up. It's from Coddly. I just needed to do something, put some type of face mask on my face because my face is not doing bad, but it's just like still, I've just been having a lot of clogged pores and like boom, texture. And I'm trying to get that under control. I was planning on just doing my nighttime skincare down here. Look, I even brought everything downstairs. I got my, my moisturizer, my retinol and my aquaphor for my nighttime skin because I was like, I'm gonna do my face mask on the couch, rinse my face, and then I'm gonna just, what was I, what am I trying to say? Then I was just going, you know, just rinse it off, do my, and still sit down here and watch baddies. Because look, y'all, my living room is a vibe. I love it. At first I was like, mm, I don't really like the couch, but I actually really love it. It looks really good and I'm super excited. I always gotta sit on things for like the first couple of days and figure out if I like it or not. Oh, y'all, let me check out something. Look forward to this tomorrow. I can't even show y'all cause the address. Anyways, we got in a ton of stuff from Amazon and Walmart and everything I was telling y'all about last week that I ordered. So we're gonna do like a big unboxing all at one time basically. I was gonna say tomorrow, but it doesn't say my packages are gonna be here until tomorrow night. So it might not be tomorrow, but we gonna open up these packages. I don't. The way these braids are laying on my head, I don't really like them. Like, it's gotta be like, okay, behind the shoulder. Yeah. Cause when I try to put them in front, I don't know. I don't know what it, I don't know what it's giving. It's giving I'm gonna get my hair redone cause that's how I be. I think the design is cute. Like, I just, I don't know. It's something about it. It's something about it. I don't, um, it's not anyways. <sighs> that is so sad that the stairs be taking me out of breath. Like, <sighs> I need to get my life together. Let me brush out my eyelashes. Oh, here she go, honking the horn. She always pull up to my house honking the horn. <laughs> Open the garage. 
I'm just gonna wait for her to call. <laughs> this bitch is stupid. Okay, let me go grab her from the door. Hold on. I we outside. I said you going to the pride parade. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Not the windows are open. <laughs> <laughs> you need to wait this to I don't think I got the windows open. Look, there it is. Is it seven? You're not giving me a lot to go on. A blue lemon drop. Mm -hmm. Good, how are you? What you got a gadget phone for? What's that? <laughs> uh, my vlog camera. Nice. And then maybe a week Oh yeah, it's be like that. I don't know. We'll just try it though. That's okay. 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 We're gonna do. I'm literally drunk. Hey y'all. Her builder. Huh? Who is that? Her builder? You're not in it, I promise. You camera shy? You got drunk? I'm saying, yeah, it's gonna be the same thing you said. Right. <laughs> That's a little yum yum right there. Mmm. <laughs> we outside. I got my nails done. This is so, like, just weird. Where are we going? So? I don't know. I didn't know it was uh, pasta in here. We're at so Owls. What is that? So what Owls? We got pasta. Was he like ten? He just Russian. I could tell he was Russian. He was like, let me hurry up because he knew he had to do both of us. Like the chrome shouldn't be all up in this. Like why is it sparkly in there? It's just like it's just like he was Russian. I mean, I'm not mad. I had a little nub before, so I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna. I'm gonna rock it out, but shit. Dug it out. I might come back to him to clean it up a little bit. Clean up the shape. I'm coming for you, like Tim. Tim. <laughs> so Owls had all entered the menu. I've never been here. To me, so it was good, but y'all might shake me one, so we're gonna see what. Today's a good day because the sun is out today. The sun has not been out in like a whole two weeks, y'all. It's been so gloomy. And the sun is out and it's bright and it's shiny. I have a horrible headache, y'all. I the beginning of this did not give me. Listen, I'm like so lightweight. If I get like one drink, okay, give me one margarita. Y'all know that TikTok? Oh, yeah, I don't need two, three, four, five. Just one is gonna get me there. And we was at the nail shop and I was not expecting for that little drink to get me that lit. I'm like whole ass drunk in a nail shop. Like this is the club. What is going on right now? But I did like that nail shop. It was a vibe. I was talking to this lady when I first walked in cause she was asking me a question. So I'm talking to her. And then the lady doing her nails was like, how old are you, 18? And I was like, no, I'm about to be 24 on Sunday. And she's like, and then the lady I was talking to, she's like, oh, you're a cancer. My daughter's a cancer. I was like, yeah, I'm the 25th. She was like, oh, she's the 28th. And then it was a whole bunch of guys in there getting pedicures. And they were all cancers. And they were, I was the 25th. They were the 26th, 27th, 28th. So anyways, we were all just in there having a good time. Yeah, it was just like a cool little vibe on the nail shop. However, I was drunk. And the way he did my nails, he is dead. It's wrong for that. Like, dirty. He did my nails dirty. They're not horrible, but... I haven't got my nails in so long. And then y'all, I wanted to get gel X when I started getting my nails back done. And I was just too, anyways, here we go. We got a little chrome on the tips. My toes don't look too bad though. But anyways, yeah, we went to the nail shop and then we went to this little place, that little pizza place y'all saw us go to real quick. The wings was hella salty, hella salty. Um, and the, but the pizza was good. I got like a chicken alfredo with onion. I have two pieces left. I'm gonna eat for, probably for breakfast, Loki. But I have a horrible headache because then when I got home, Aaron was like, take some shots with me. And I was like, oh, way. Cause he always be like, yo, don't ever run to get no shots with me. So I was like, okay, the kids ain't home, whatever. We took some shots and I had a horrible headache. So I'll be on the couch until further notice. This weekend, I really didn't want to do anything. Like I, the kids are not here today. Like it's only one day that they're really not here. Like they're not here today. And then we're going to meet them at church tomorrow. And then they'll be home. But and it'll be my birthday tomorrow. My birthday is tomorrow. Um, so anyways, 
I gotta get the last vlog up to y'all, so I just gotta like rewatch it, make sure, you know, everything is everything. And then my friends are supposed to be, we might go do like a little brunch, a little lunch. Probably not gonna go out tonight. Like, I think Aaron's brothers and cousins might come over here. We might like play some games, take some shots or whatever. Cause Aaron has reservations for us to go somewhere on my actual birthday on Sunday night. So, I just wanted to say good morning and give a little recap of yesterday because that was a little bit of a chaotic way to, you know, kick things off. But nevertheless, I'm going to see you later today whenever I get out the house. Like I said, I'm going to get on this couch right here. Okay. And I'm going to turn on baddies. <laughs> That's what all me and Aaron were watching last night. We stayed up until like 3 a.m. watching baddies. I was like, oh my lord. But anyways, I'm going to watch baddies and then do my little editing or whatever and just be chill around so we'll see where the day takes us got our nails done we got our toes done eyebrows done hair done so we good to go wherever you know what i'm saying it's just gonna be trying to find an outfit it's gonna be the interesting part i did get a birthday outfit that i wanted to wear but only if i was like gonna go to the club so i don't know we were talking about maybe getting a section tonight but our boyfriends me and my friend they are like so annoying about going out like they gotta have their hair done I gotta go to Neiman and get a whole new outfit and they like, we don't got a haircut, we don't got an outfit. I'm like, bro. So they was like, they would pay for us a section if we wanted to go out, but I was like, we wanted to go out with y'all. But there's, I think Aaron's gonna see if his barber can come cut his hair at work. All right, TTY on. All right, let's get ready. Let's get a better, I was gonna say better view than my bedroom. Okay, my friend is on her way here. It is like 1 p.m. in the afternoon. I took a fat nap. I did my little Bible study time and then I was like, okay, let me get some rest because my head was thumping. I think I talked to y'all a little bit earlier. I don't remember. But anyways, we're getting ready to go. Just grab a little bite to eat. I'm putting on my loom. I low-key should have put on a little, a little something else because it is hot. But it's cool. It's cool. We're going to be all right. I don't know what I'm about to wear, but my friend texted me like 30 minutes ago and was like, get ready. And I'm going to be on my way. And I'm just now getting ready. But that's not my fault. I've been on my computer because originally I was supposed to finish up the vlog from last week. And if you get it late, just don't hate. Okay, little rhyme. <laughs> I did the majority of my skincare already this morning. Uh, let me wash my hands. I already brushed it in my teeth and all that stuff. I want to go over to Trinity Groves. Cause they have this little shaved ice stand that i want to see is open she said she want to get tacos and i think they got tacos over there i don't know we gonna see so anyway yeah i just need to put some sunscreen on my face i had already done my skincare this morning just need a little a little spf since we gonna be probably outside ulta md is gonna do it for me i have this big old zit on the side of my forehead and it is hurting this so mad. Let me tie my hair back real quick so we can do these edges and then we'll do body care. Um, this is the edge control I'm using. I got this from Walmart. Cause I think I was giving y'all a haul in the last vlog for some stuff I got from Walmart cause I'm partnering with them on a video that you've probably seen before you see this. But maybe, I don't know child. Yeah, you'll probably see it before you see this vlog but i don't know if it works that well or not i want to love it it smells good but i just can't tell but i'm gonna go to just using the got to be because i feel like got to be is really the only thing that really works like i'm gonna use the edge control to like mold my edges and then go over it with the got to be like little brow gel thing whatever it's coming in the mail i ordered it off of amazon but it's giving a little swoop to do doop okay I really cannot see myself that far in the mirror. If I don't do anything, it's not going to get my eye exam. Like, I literally need an eye exam so bad. Like, real bad. Good thing it only takes me, like, two minutes to get ready. I need to go get my eyebrows tinted. That's really just all. Like, they're so faded. I'm not fucking with my hair, like, at all. I really am just not messing with this. This on me. I love this side. But this side, I don't know what it is like, but I don't know what it is. But it's just driving me nuts. Especially because it won't stay in place or nothing. But 
all right let's finish up this stuff is fire like i love that it's just like spray on oil i should have put on the body butter first but it just gives you a little shimmer it smells so good you guys like it's literally smells so good like this is the summer scent or base at least you know what i'm saying like it's coconutty i should have put on some lotion first before i put on the oil but do you see the glisten and the glow yeah i'm late on this this is some good stuff right here and they have the whole line that matches y'all know that gets me every single time if you have the scrub the wash the body oil and the body butter sign me up and it has everything so i've been using the scrub and the body wash in the shower and then these are my aftercare products i'm like oh say less the body butter i literally have talked about this before but look at that it's like whipped it's so that was probably really inappropriate but anyways it's so it's whipped and it's just like this perfect texture doesn't take a long time to rub it in it's not too thick it melts down i just love these products from mario Badescu. like this is this is it i literally don't have nothing else to do like to my face like i feel like my face is missing something but my lashes are done i'm put some lip gloss on i'm just not feeling it i'm not you know you you just sometimes it's just when it's one of them days i'm just really not feeling the vibes i don't know let me throw my hair up i'm probably gonna put on i don't know what i'm gonna wear i had a little dress she was like i'm putting on something that's giving like we can go eat go to a little day party maybe i don't know what the hell we're gonna do i have this little pink dress i was gonna wear but then i'm like do i want to wear it tomorrow i need to go to the mall really like erin has reservations to go to a restaurant i'm sure it's probably a nice place and i don't have anything to wear i'm really unprepared is it giving tomorrow's my birthday because i don't think so i think i'm gonna put this dress on it's the same one that i have in yellow from J Lux label but pink i tried to do a haul with y'all i did get some new stuff in oh actually i might have a dress i can wear i gotta look back through my orders because i might have something i can wear to dinner when i was doing it it was when the ac was out and the fans were blowing in the background and so i had ended up taking that part of the vlog out because it was just too loud i was like yeah nobody is gonna want to sit here and listen to me try to do this haul with this loud ass fan but anyways you can get these dresses in the vlog i was trying to tell you i'll put y'all on if you like jlux label please go shop on micah's i personally didn't know until i seen the ad come across but like micah cider and finesse have so many like dupes for like jlux label naked wardrobe misguided because the prices be high on there the material be the same you can get this exact exact dress from micah's in the black i don't think they have the pink yet but it's like literally way cheaper and then also the rat and boa dress that i got if y'all remember way 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 back when i was doing my vacation dry on hauls it's like a pink dress flowy open they literally have it on micah's for 28 dollars. when i tell you i'm pissed because that dress on rat and boa is like 200 dollars or more <laughs> and you can literally get it for 28 dollars on another website i'm like whoa let me put this on real quickly I'm going to put it on and see how my gut is looking. I might throw on some shapewear, so. Alrighty. Okay. I cannot wait to get in shape. I say that and then I do not do anything. But it's okay. It'll be like that. One day I'll take myself seriously. I swear she was going to be pulled up by now. I need to go check my phone. I'm trying to airdrop something. And it was taking a long time, so I left my phone downstairs. I don't know. What's what you think? I mean, it's summer. It's a, a little bit of pooch out, you know what I'm saying? But I could pull it down, but I feel like it looks better on my midsection area if I have like some ruffling right here. I think I'm gonna put some shapewear on. I have this little thing from Amazon. It's like a little thong. It just like it's gonna suck in the gut a little bit if I can find it. Let me see if I can find it real quick. I wore it. <sighs> okay, I think it's in my room. Let me look and see. If I folded it up, it's basically like a little Skims dupe. Well, I don't know. I can't say that because I never bought the actual Skims version of the shapewear. Maybe I did. I don't know. Yes, I do actually have a Skims shapewear. It's not as suction -y as the Skims. We're also getting our grass cut if y'all are hearing that in the background. 
Okay, I don't see it in here, so. I swear I just did all the laundry, so I thought I washed it. Let me check and see. Okay, I found it. It looks like this. Pink. But you just put it on. And it's just gonna help this. Just, you know, at least stay in place. It might not look perfect, but it's gonna look better than. It's gonna look better than what it is right now. So let me throw this on really fast. Damn. Can I unzip myself? Yeah, especially because my boobs are smaller now. Like before, at least, like, I feel like my gut is sticking out equally as much as my titties. And that is not, not the vibes. <laughs> okay, hold on. We are now catfishing the waist a little bit. Can y'all tell? It's, it look better. It look a thousand times better. Hallelujah, Jesus. Okay, I need to spray myself. Yesterday, I was wearing this, and I think it's just so nice for, like, we're going to be out and about inside, outside. I don't know if I'm going to wear black with this or white. What y'all think? Anyways, I'm digging this. It's the Sol de Janeiro bikini season. Sunlight. Or, I don't know, but it smells good. It's giving daytime. All right. White, we'll take a dupe in the Iran sandal or black. My shirt black. I don't think I'm gonna do black because I don't know what my other. I have the Iran sandals in black and brown and white, but I think the white looks better. I don't have to wear, um, I have a different black bag, but I still have them. We still do this one. I already got the other shoe right here. I'm gonna take a picture of myself in the mirror so y'all can see the whole outfit because this is not a very good angle, but should we do a earring? I don't like wearing earrings unless I'm going somewhere fancy. I could wear these, but that's getting like, yeah, I just started getting ready. What you got going on here? Smells good? No. Or so you don't know. It's like mixed with. Girl, mixed with what? Burnt. Ain't nothing on them. Nothing on them? Is it this? Jewelry. Should I put earrings on? I don't think I'm gonna. Ooh, I'm ready to go and eat. Yes, I didn't pick it out. Okay, you got some style. <laughs> I need to put me on. I don't want to wear anything big, but all I got is big. Where are we going to eat? I don't know, but I want. I think we should go over to to Trinity Groves. Okay. This is my day drinking. Day drinking outfit? Yeah. <laughs> it's just what And, and I like, said, yeah. what are you doing? I'm gonna go. They just be pillow talking. They kill me. But it's still there. It's a problem when we do it. It's cold. They do it. It's a problem when I do it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make some, some whippy gloss. I'm on the 28th on Wednesday. I'm gonna put my dew drops on. These little dew drops from Fendi. I need a tan so bad. I need to go out the country immediately. Immediately. <sighs> yeah, I'm looking at my nails and I'm like, okay, they're not bad. I'm, I'm just looking at like, the little details and I'm like, yeah. boy. I'm like 10. Be for real. I think it was because he was trying to rush or something. I don't know. I was, where was I? Oh, I went to McKenna's. Remember, I told you I was going to McKenna's. And we went to a late night nail bar. We went to, uh, like, they do nails till 12 a.m. And what time do we leave McKenna? Like 11? Yeah, we left at like 11 a.m. I do like 11 a.m. No, so let me tell I you. I need new brows out immediately. I got a nature pack at the house and we said until like 2 in the morning. Yeah, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get my nails done. Where is my eyelash brush? I need an eyelash brush. I just had my lash one time. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna go take a quick pick flick. And then look, the lady, she cut me, waxed my eyebrows yesterday. Fucking. Where are you at? All right. Okay. This is it. I don't like my hair. I'm sorry though. It's cause I've been sleeping on it weird too. Like, look, it's all bent like. I might put it in like, maybe a clip. Like a half up, half down type of vibe. What you think? I got a pink clip. 
If I can put it in my hair. I'm gonna get mad. Oh, here it is. Okay, I'm gonna go get some money to pay the loan, oh, man. My edges are already giving me I'm into my trouble. And before you even say, wrap them up, wrap them up, wrap, I don't got time. I don't got time. I haven't even unpacked my scarf. Please don't start hollering at me. What I could use is a little hairspray, but I don't think I have any left. I think I'm gonna just do this little half up, half down, because yes, that's that's giving me the best vibes. Okay, I need to pack my purse, which I think my purse is downstairs. Some lip gloss. Oh, I already got batteries in here. Oh, I love this. The little lip pumper from Too Faced. Just a little bit, though. Just a little bit. Alright. Let's go outside. Okay. We are at Trinity Crow. I have no idea what this is. It's a burger place. I'm already going to Oh my gosh. Place. That is where Price Roots is. They're Dallas location. It's not as nice as their Prado location though. It's not the same as And then once they change the I think we still need to go try the, the ice place. Water ice stuff. Yeah. We're gonna get our food and then well, we got drinks. This is a blue frosty. Tropical. We got a tropical one, mine's better. This is really kind of cool. Bye. Yeah. I should have ate first because I'm already like but anyways, mommy is out. <laughs> I guess they have shops going on right now. So like when you go outside, they have like clothes and just like a whole vintage. bunch of different vintage, like thrifted items that is like they're selling them sunglasses. I didn't know they did that on the weekends. You know they do that on the weekends at Bishop Arts? Yeah. But I didn't know they did it here. They do. They do that at... Um... So I'm going to show y'all when we get up there. She must have knew I like ketchup. The fries, three out of ten. Onion rings, five. Love it. Your batter, love them. Did you taste it yet? I did, I already had one. You taste it. I just don't see how I'm gonna eat this. Yeah, that one. I know when I saw that girl with it, I was like, mmm. I love a good honey. Oh, God. I don't know. It's like, it's a chicken shit thing. Ain't no proper way to eat this. Like, come on now. That's hot as fuck. I can't eat it. Cheers. One, two, three. It's our baby. <laughs> Anyways. A long time no see and i'm really not about to talk to y'all for a long time right now either because i'm gonna get ready it today is my birthday yesterday i ended up going out or y'all saw me out a little bit during the day but i ended up staying out like all night with my friends and i got boom drunk i would not be doing that anymore and i've been hung over for literally the entire day and i was throwing up everywhere passed out low-key aaron had to carry me in the house so did i have a good time yes would i do it again no that would be my last time that I left that in my 23 era. It will not be coming to chapter 24 with me. Drinking ain't my thing. It never has been, never will be. I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> so, um, and I'm serious. Like, I'm literally so serious. I might get a drink here and there, but like taking shots, drinking, just forget about it. Forget it. I'm about to get in the shower. My mom came over today. She cooked my favorite childhood dinner that she always used to make for me. And we ate that kind of like earlier four or five-ish the kids are getting ready for bed and then Aaron's brother's here and he's gonna watch them really fast because we're going to Monarch which I'm super excited about because we've never been always wanted to go it's supposed to have like a really nice view of the city it's up 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 in like one of the really high buildings so we're about to get ready I'm gonna get ready with y'all as much as I can we literally have 30 minutes though because we've been on the couch watching baddies all day me and Aaron <laughs> and that's kind of how the day is gone which is if I wasn't hungover I feel like the day would have been cool like you know oh, i miss church i was mad about that i literally could not when i tell you i went from throwing up on side of my bed to laying on the floor in the bathroom this morning when i woke up yeah a time was had though a time was had we went to like harlow bitter end 
we went back to Trinity Groves to get a margarita. But anyways, y'all, the way my stomach is in shambles. And I'm not a thrower up or y'all. I never throw up. Baby. I threw up beef fajita street tacos. Disgusting. Disgusting. Mm -mm. Alright, shower first. And I'll be back. Okay. I'm almost ready. Well, I'm really ready. I just need to put my rings on. I'm wearing like this little dress I have from Rat and Boa because I don't really know what else to wear. And then got on my little doopy doops. Put on my little bracelet. Okay. I couldn't really get ready too, too much with you guys, but I'll try to get some clips at the restaurant. I'm about to go. I laid my edges. I'll put a little concealer on. Um, the worst vlogger. I did not vlog when I was out to eat at the restaurant yesterday. Which, granted, I'm not really mad about that I didn't do because I just enjoyed my night and we had dinner and it was cool. But anyways, let me give you my review on Monarch. I didn't really get anything. Like, I got, like, two pictures of the food. Food was... Eh. There were some things that I really liked and then other things it was like, okay, I, I just know. But that's kind of pretty standard when you're going to, like, nicer restaurants. Like, just some of the ways they choose to cook the vegetables and the things that they put on them is just not really my... Five. Anyways, happy Monday. Sorry, y'all. Jumped right into it. I've been sitting on the couch editing for a while. I'm taking a lunch break really quickly. I haven't really gotten ready for the day, if you can't tell. But I just wanted to come in, update you guys, get back into the swing of things. I feel like the beginning of this vlog, very chaotic. Like, the weekend did not go, like, as I planned. I should have just did what I originally said I wanted to do, which was just stay home, do nothing. Like, maybe went to dinner still with Aaron, but, like, I wish I would have just never went out, never got drunk. Like, big, big, big regret. <clears throat> Today is Monday, like I said. Monarch was cool. The whole thing about Monarch, it's like the selling point of going there though, is the view. Because uh, it's like really high up in one of the buildings. I think at the, like it's connected to the Thompson and the National if you live in Dallas. You have to specifically get like reservations for a seat that has a view because while there is windows, the way they have the dining room set up, like if you're on one side of the restaurant, you're not going to have those good views that you see like everybody showing like TikTok, you know, all that stuff when they go to the restaurant. So that's just something to keep in mind. We didn't really have a table with that great of a view, which I feel like is like, you know, why people <laughs> go there. The bread was really good. I'm trying to break down. So they start you off with like a bread. It's very um, fancy, smancy, like all course, you, you know. Anyways, it's just like a nice restaurant. But the bread that they had there was really good. I had like a um, tomato mozzarella salad. There's like a fancy name for that, but it's like tomatoes and mozzarella cheese. It was very, very good. Aaron had a Caesar salad. He said it was okay. He ended up doing the shrimp ravioli, which he actually really enjoyed. Like he thought it was really good. I did antelope because it was like an alternative to steak and I wanted to try something new. But since I've been like so sick from being intoxicated, I didn't really finish my meal. The garlic mashed potatoes were fire. The only things I didn't really like was the vegetables and then the drinks, like their cocktails. I ordered like a... I ordered like a... Just like a spritzer type of cocktail that had like champagne and other stuff in it, but it was so nasty, y'all. But the guy who was our server, he was super, super nice. We told him it was my birthday. And they gave me this little special birthday menu. We took it home. I don't know why. I didn't want to be rude and like leave it there because he made it for me. But I got that. He gave us complimentary shots because it was my birthday. What else? Oh. And then they gave me like a little raspberry sorbet dessert thing. It was good. So overall, it wasn't bad. It's just not like the social media experience that you see if you have if you want to go to that restaurant like maybe if we want to went again and the view was different their menu is not very 
I'm not, I don't want to say it doesn't have like a wide range. I guess that's just like any nicer restaurant. Like the menu is just not like endless. Like they just have like, like limited things. Anywho, I'm having chicken and rice. My mom made this for me. It was my birthday yesterday. Yeah, yesterday for my birthday. Cause this is like one of my favorite things she used to make when I was growing up. So she's like, you want me to make you some chicken and rice? I was like, sure. So. That's what I'm eating for lunch. The only thing that we have like on the agenda today, cause I feel like I started the vlog at like a weird place. So back to normal life. We are going out of town this weekend for the family reunion to Tyler. So that'll be fun. You probably won't see that in this vlog cause I'll probably, well, I don't know. Just like depends on how fast I can get the editing and stuff done. You might see it in this vlog and maybe push back into next week, but we're taking a little road trip out there. Super excited about that. I'm like super busy with like work and stuff and things that I have to get done before we leave on the trip. So I really don't have much that I'm like doing. Like this might be one of those, I might see y'all in a couple days <laughs> type of vlog, but I do have a whole bunch of packages from Amazon and Walmart Loki that I want to open with you guys. I saved them all over the weekend so I could just do it all at one time. So after I eat this, I'm gonna go and open that stuff. Let's open up this stuff. I don't really know what exactly we're gonna start with. Okay, all of this over here, it didn't come in a box, so it's like already out, but this is like all the stuff that I'm gonna do for like, I was telling y'all like the backpacks that we're gonna give out to the homeless community. So I got like a lot of stuff for that also, though that's also makes sense here. I don't know what this is. Oh, socks. These are socks. Like I said, once I do this and assemble the backpacks, I'll go into more depth and then obviously show you guys everything. But just know that's what that is. The majority of the stuff I got from Walmart is just all related to that. So this, oh, it's leaking. Lovely, lovely, lovely. That was some more non-perishable fruit cups. Okay. I'm just gonna leave this in a box. I ordered like a ton of like band-aids and stuff to go in the backpacks. This is like everything I told y'all I was getting last week. I got like four boxes of these. They're like individual uh, aquaphor packs. Ooh. Okay. This stuff is for the kids. The majority of stuff I got was like not for myself. It was like for the house, for the kids, or for um, the donations that we're gonna do. But I love these munchkin cups with the 360 spout. I just feel like they're the most kid friendly like sippy cup. They don't they don't spill and all of that jazz. The boys like Carter and Carson, they needed something like a little bit bigger to carry their water or whatever they're having in here. The two pack came like a white and a black one and I got two of those. It's easier on the go like to go and stuff like sometimes they want to take their milk or their water with them in the car before they like run off to school or whatever so i got these for them what is this i don't know what this is oh my gosh this is literally huge okay i'm like actually pleasantly surprised so I found, I saw this thing, no, I didn't find it. I saw this other creator, a TikTok mom, and she was doing like this cute little, um, like sensory thing with her kids. And I was like, oh, like say less. And then she basically like introduced me to inspired, by, inspired play or something like that. You can find them on TikTok and Pinterest, but basically they just give you like creative ideas of how to like make sensory bins out of like non-toxic like household items. It's just so cool, like it's so cool. And I just think the boys would love that as like a weekend activity or something to do. That better be the trash. Circling back around. And it is, and they still love the trash. Are you shitting me? Whatever. 
okay but anyways the moral of the story is the way she had the sensory bins going um was this type of sensory bin so inspired play has their own stuff but they were out of stock on amazon so i found a dupe or a different one on there and got it i didn't realize it was going to be this big i thought it was going to be smaller but pleasantly surprised by the size it looks like this anyways y'all get a better idea of it once i like set it up and stuff or i'll try to insert videos of what it looks like so you can you know get the vibe i got two i have like two and three of a lot of things so i'll try to just spare you and show you one of each thing I got like a whole bunch of hats. I remember telling y'all, I didn't really, this was like the best I could find on Amazon for like what we are trying to go for, but we wanted to do ball caps because it's hot outside, get a little shade on your head. So this ent entire box is full of hats. And then there's another box full of hats. All right, I got some like things that look random, but I got salt and I got chickpeas because that was a lot of what the inspired by play ingredients are to make the sensory bins. It's like salt, chickpeas, um, food coloring. So I got a pack of, of food coloring with all these different colors. Again, if I saw, if y'all saw the video, it'll make sense as to what the, the theme here is. It's it called Inspire My Play. They did have some of their accessories in stock, so I did get them off of Amazon. These are like the little bins. They have little scoopers. I got like a couple of each. Cause I got a whole bunch of kids, pretty much. So yeah, this. Carter really likes doing Legos. And because Carter likes doing Legos, now Carson likes doing Legos. So I got the Lego mat insert that also goes into the sensory bin as well. So they can put their legos on there and i got the color sage green i would open everything but i'll link the specific colors that i got in my instagram there are different colors i did the boy the boy colors like the sage greens and stuff because i have boys obviously but they have like pinks and purples and stuff like that too and then the last thing i think i got from them was the sensory card play activity so it basically is 30 cards of like how to make the sensory bins and it has like everything that you need and I just thought that would be really helpful for me that way I can like you know actually use this and be consistent so yeah got those and then I got the kids aprons and um like little chef hats because I really enjoy them being in the kitchen with me I just feel like it also it's like a time for us to like bond and like do something other than like a play activity or watch tv but like you know actual life skills and like learning and cooking in the kitchen so i thought it would make them even more excited by it like to do it if they had like you know a little dress up to go along with it so i got them this gray striped tape um, and then they also came with this little chef's hat this is like paper thin but anyways you get the vibes they can wear their little chef hat and their apron and we can cook din din together so i got two mellow's not quite big enough yet i could have got him a little hat i guess but while i was inspired to get them aprons i also got myself an apron as well because i do spill a lot of myself in the kitchen so i was like how cute would it be if i had a little apron so i also got like a neutral colored one that just ties around i'm gonna hang this up in the kitchen oh and then it also has like came with like my first cookbook and like little simple recipes that they can do for like muffins donuts nutella lemon bars oh i've actually been craving lemon bars so maybe we'll make some lemon lemon bars this week i didn't know what this is box smells like cigarettes a box in a box i hate when they do that this is microfiber towels i've been sick of eating up all my paper towels when i'm cleaning lately and the microfiber towels i feel like i can at least get a couple uses out of them you can wash them and reuse them but lord have mercy 
y'all know i'm my green arrow y'all are gonna be sick of me in green i don't know what this newfound obsession is that i have with the color green but i chose to get green this time instead of like brown or white for the microfiber towels and they come on like a roll like a paper towel but anyways that's something i've been getting nothing new i got the chia seeds to do the sensory board that was another like main ingredient thing oh i also got the stacking stones because carter really likes rocks and he has his own real set of like rocks that i got him from kids love rocks like a couple years ago but then you know Carter likes it. Carson loves it. So I got some more so they could share. What is this? Oh, cornstarch was another little thing that you needed for the sensory things. It's the is this chia seed? Chick 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 oh, this is chickpeas. Okay, chickpeas was another essential. So I guess they came in this bag. These are the backpacks that I got to fill up. I got a hundred backpacks, so there's like two more boxes of backpacks. And then we are going to just fill them up with all the stuff that we got and probably like uh, take hats and then like attach the hat to the back of the backpack right here or something. And we're just going to go hand them out. So I think I told y'all we were doing flip flops too. So we got these. It's not like a the best solution, but I was like, it's a starting point. Um, because this came with like multiple sizes and stuff. So again, the ground is hot. Eventually, I want to do like sneakers and stuff like that, but I'll have to like go to the store and get different sizes and do all that kind of stuff. So okay. this was my birthday present to myself. <laughs> keeping the house clean is one thing and cleaning, but the floors and keeping the floors clean is like a entire task. And my robot vacuum, my Norwalk, it broke in the mail. Aren't in the mail in the um during the move we got the dream tech um robot vacuum we're about to unbox it oh my gosh it came with so many pieces i really don't have any room in here to like take it out i need to like clean out the space a little bit all right i think i'm gonna open that in a little bit later tonight Cause like I said, I have a lot of work to do, you guys, and I planned on like somewhat just like relaxing this weekend and being prepared for today, but <laughs> life. So yeah, it's 11 o'clock now, and I do have something else that I have to turn in today that's due. So I'm about to go upstairs and just like get back in to work or content mode. And y'all will have saw those videos before you see this one, so. It's like a hygiene routine, probably, I think. And one other thing. So, yeah, I'm about to go get started. And then I'll check back in with you guys a little bit later. Happy Tuesday. This vlog is going to be a little bit, I feel like, all over the place. It's giving a mashup of, of just collect. It, it's a weekly vlog. It's a weekly vlog. Just very chaotic. Anyway, today's Tuesday. It's about 12.30 in the afternoon and i'm trying to think what i should do i well i'm about to clean we're getting my life together because this house disgusting like anyways i definitely have to clean the house today i'm just trying to decide if i'm going to do the laundry if i'm going to send the laundry out because i feel like realistically sending it out would just be better for the situation because when you start to get an overload of laundry that's when it like starts to get hard to like catch up but also i could probably do it tomorrow i just don't really know what the rest of the week looks like like i just had a lot of work i just wanted to come say hi i can't talk to y'all because i gotta clean i look 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 i'm well i'm gonna show y'all i'm gonna give y'all a little view but i wanted to do like a little cute clean with me so we don't try to have fun i'm gonna put my headphones on jam out clean hopefully get some good tunes going for y'all so you know if you're watching this whatever you're watching it you need to get up and get some stuff done let's do it together okay because 
when I tell you, it's just a disaster. It's, and I don't even know where to start. So I'm gonna go grab my headphones from upstairs, plop those on. Well, actually, I think I'm gonna just send the laundry out because that'll just be more time efficient if I just go ahead and send it out, I think. And then whatever, I don't know. Cause then I'll be back by tomorrow. Cause even if I start the laundry today, I probably won't finish it today. Like folding it, washing it, drying it, all of that stuff. So let's get our black bags. Oh, they're downstairs in the laundry room. I don't wanna go all the way back. Oh, there's one right here. All right, let's start in Carter's room. In the vacuum, but I can't stop listening to these jams. It's happy with a good guy. If I'm calling anyway, that you love so bad. I know you still think about the time we had. Are you drunk right now? All right, we're replacing this with the dream tuck. Oh, it's so sad. Bye bye, Narwhal. Doing this so important. That song is literally so long or I would have finished it. Welcome back. Okay, I gotta unplug this. Loud noise. Did y'all like my concert? I always wish I could sing so I could have sung my kids lullabies. What is that, the AC? 
Why can I hear the washing machine all the way over here? We're unboxing this. Very expensive. Better be worth every penny. Dream Tech robot. Okay, so I guess we got to assemble it. One thing about me, I hate reading instructions. One of my friends is from New Orleans and she always says, girl, girl, girl. No, how does she say it? Girl, girl. That's ridiculous. Okay, remove before use. I'm just hoping for the best too. We got to plug her in. I know you still think about the times we had. Oh my gosh. It's got one of those hard plugs. Stop. Okay, I got it. Okay. Which way do we park it in? The other way, I'm assuming. Okay. Goes in here, water. It came with cleaning solution and instruction. All right, let's try to put this thing together. Okay, one, remove the protective strips. Two, install the brush and the mop. Place the station where you want it to go. Okay, I want it to go here. Place the robot and press and hold the power button to the robot for three seconds and place the robot, oh, okay. So we have one, how did you? Install the cleaner bottle. Remove the cap to the cleaner bottle. Tear off the seals on the upper and bottom of the bottle. Install the cleaning bottle along the slot in place. Okay, this is, I didn't think I was gonna have to use their stuff. See, that's where they get you. It's already expensive and then you gotta use their floor cleaner. But you know what? If it keeps my floors clean, and it better, or it will be going back to be here. It says remove the tabs. Okay. Ooh, it's called in my phone. If it starts spilling, I'm gonna be sick. Okay. And then it looks like you're just supposed to put it in there, but it don't go in the right way. Does it go like this way? Like this way? We got the cleaner in there. Add water to the clean water tank, then fill the clean water up with the maximum level. Install the water tank into place. Connect to the app. And start cleaning, baby. Which one is pretty sure black is dirty water and white is clean water. It do not specify. It does not specify. I'm gonna go fill this up with some water, come back, put it in. I'm gonna try to get the boxes and stuff off the floor. That's why I was trying to clean up, get everything off the floor so we can see what kind of magic this thing can do. BRB. BRB. Okay. Let's connect to the app store so we can get this. Oh, wait, stop. Stop. I think you gotta connect it to Wi Fi, anyways. If I'm not mistaken, the app does not have good reviews. Home button, clean button, child lock. When the robot is connected to the base station, plus press and hold those two buttons for three seconds to enable or disable child lock. Gotta put that child lock on there. Cause, do the man be getting into everything literally everything he gets into everything just sign up now do y'all hear them freaking creatures outside what are those things that go <laughs> i know y'all gotta hear that are they cicadas i thought they came out at nighttime i'm just confused why they make so much noise during the day i said don't be looking at my password now I feel like no one would ever guess my password but then again i don't know i don't know but I'm serious about the little things. And baby, do spider webs remake their webs every day? This is a serious question, because every night we turn on this porch light, we see these huge webs. And it's got big spiders in there, outside, on the front porch. I need to spray it real bad. But we can't see their webs during the day, like even with the light reflecting them. Okay, but get this. Why we was in the backyard yesterday? I'm literally, I thought it was gonna be so fun to get that backyard. I'm literally terrified of that backyard and I cannot wait to redo the backyard like immediately. Because baby, Aaron 
killed a spider like this big i'm not lying okay like the body was like that big but the legs were huge on the fence yesterday Network connected successfully. and that's what i did almost had a heart attack i was like <gasps> i was literally freaking out okay i gotta let it scan the house so let me pick up everything and try to get that done before the kids get home and that get in, in the way do you hurt me I'm so ready to do the backyard project. It's not even funny. I need to done a stop, a stopio. Then I'm like, if we started it now, no, we need to wait. We just need to wait. I'd be so impatient about everything. I'd be like, I don't want to do this, 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 and this. And that's why I'm learning to take it so low. I do need a text to Jasmine now. I'll be getting, when I be getting hit with them, um, them emails, I'll be like, oh. Can you teach me how to do it? I'm literally so ready to go to this family reunion. Okay. Friends is cool, but hanging out with the cousins hits different. Well, I, I, I should say that. Really, all my friends is like family, but going outside, family can be a lot of drama sometimes. But when we all get together and we just have a good time, it's a good time. Will there be no drama? I don't know. You have to find out on the trip, but I am excited. I'm excited out in the country everybody gonna be well not me because i'm not drinking no more and i swear i'm not drinking no more <laughs> and i don't remember girl i don't remember what i was gonna say but i'm have, i'm excited to go i'm ready to have a good time i'm about to call this bitch and see if she's actually gonna go or not this pimple does not want me to be great i'm gonna get my nails redone she's probably taking a nap oh my god my cuticles are so dry look at how he did my nails these are trifling i'm gonna get them cut off eat immediately they're like so dry too i wonder if it's because i just did the dishes that was the dishwasher growling. Oh, that reminds me. I need to send him a picture. I gotta find this picture. Underneath the dishwasher is leaking and I need the contractor to come out and fix it. I can't find the picture now, of course. Okay, whatever. All right, let me just pick up this stuff. I'm procrastinating a whole lot, a lot of by sitting right here. What is that? Oh my gosh. But we cleaned up. We got the boxes in the hallway. The living room is clean. Washer is almost done. And the laundry got picked up. So only thing that we don't got now. So much going on in here with the dishwasher and the washing machine. Sorry. I'll talk to y'all a little bit later. I'm going to run the vacuum. The kids should be home soon. I don't know what we're going to do for dinner. So I don't know. <laughs> Some stuff happened, but we're back now. We're back now. We're back. And we're getting our life together okay we do have to get back on our zoom we have to get back to adulting it was a nice little break but now it's time to kick it into high year and get everything back rolling so on today's agenda we're really just going to be cleaning up the house i had a little bit of a late start to the morning this morning because there's something going on family wise that i will catch you guys up on when i can but I've been just like talking to my mom and Aaron's mom and different people in our family the majority of the morning and so I'm a little bit behind but I did wake up got the kids to school I did my little bible study time so we're in good spirit today we got a mess of a house to clean up you can see a little preview in the closet so we're just going to be getting our life together I did end up getting my nails done for my birthday but they are horrible so we're going to start by just at least cutting them down so I can like clean and maneuver around the house today because some of them already broke and then they're just too long anyways and I'm gonna go get them redone so this nail is so broken all the way down and then so is my pinky gross lovely I'm probably gonna just go back to my press-ons I, I didn't take a shower though I got up straight this morning and just got the kids ready and took them to school I'm kind of like still trying to find a new not a new but just a, a rhythm for the morning routine so i do want to take a shower because i feel like if i don't take a shower it'll be a long time you know till the end of the night tonight when i get one and i just want to feel clean and 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 reset like i didn't have a sunday reset yesterday so monday is my day and then the kids are going to be home from school tomorrow because it is the fourth of july the school just happened to be open today but close tomorrow so i want to make sure i get as much done as possible today so we can just kind of kick it with the kids. We might go get some pool stuff for the backyard tomorrow. Maybe do like a little cookout grill. It's 4th of July. We don't really, I'm not gonna say we don't celebrate 4th of July, but we might see fireworks from where we're at in the city tomorrow. But anyways, we'll see, we'll get to that. Let's get in the shower. I really need to unpack my bags as well. Cause I told y'all we just got back 
all my hygiene stuff is in here. So my soap, I need to shave desperately. We're gonna do all of that good stuff. Wash my face. I've been breaking out. Mm what's new i'm just so far past having perfect skin at this point i'm like maybe when i get older one day it'll happen i mean i'm keeping up with my skin of course but i just keep thinking one day i'm just never gonna have a pimple again and that's just delusional so we are just accepting it for what it is um can't blame it on my period uh maybe i can't i don't know i haven't been keeping track of my like logging my period on my thing <clears throat> no i'm not pregnant okay <laughs> I know it's coming, I just don't know when. All right, gotta get all the goods out of here. Brushing your teeth in the shower is a time-saving hack, okay? That's my new thing these days. Put everything back in here. I want to take my braids out, but I'm gonna just wait till I can figure out when I'm gonna get an appointment. We got a lot to do today, we got to book appointments. I, I really should have made a list, but we're just diving into it because I'm like, okay, it's 10 o'clock already. That means I have like basically two to three hours before I go pick up the kids from school. So I need to make the most of my time. But we gotta run by the Apple store because I don't have my computer or my iPad and I gotta get a new one, which will all be explained eventually. But yeah, we gotta re up on our tech stuff. So I gotta do that. I also gotta call about shades, blinds. We gotta finish getting the house together. Just a ton of stuff. I'm gonna stop talking. Let's get in the shower so we can get started. We gotta get groceries. Like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Shower time. All right, so we're done getting ready. I put on some Rescue Balm on my pimples. I promise y'all, Rescue Balm will really help. If you get like post hyper pigmentation, you know what I'm trying to say. Rescue Balm will help clear it up so much. Normally, I would have like a big dark scar right here from where I picked up my face, and I just keep it on like 24 seven. I walk around in public like this, like everything, I do not care because I don't wanna have a dark mark left over because I picked. So anyways. I made a list and we're basically going to go from the top priority down to the lowest and I really have like all week to get this done I'm not saying like oh I need to get everything done today but I'm just trying to like you know at least get myself somewhat you know smooth for you know the rest of the week kind of like a Sunday reset but today's Monday so anyways we definitely need to get groceries because we don't even have milk we don't have chocolate milk we don't have nada so I'm gonna place an instacart order maybe we gonna see <laughs> i might have to go buy whole foods real fast just to get the fruit and the like produce and stuff like that because i don't be liking to get it off like instacart or kroger anymore because every time it just be coming bad so we're really just gonna start picking up i had kind of cleaned before we went out of town and then something happened and then now we basically gotta clean up again so so that we can get into everything that we always do which is picking up and restarting and reset okay i think instead of doing an instacart order because i'm just sitting here and i'm like i really want to go grocery shopping grocery shopping and if i just get on instacart i'll get a little stuff now i might go to the store and i might od it but i haven't been into the grocery store and grocery shops in a long time so i think i'm just gonna actually go to kroger and grocery shop but i do want to do like a quick little speed clean of the house first just to get everything picked up i did get my robot vacuum i think i'm gonna if I can find the footage because now I'm thinking about it and I'm like I forgot that I really haven't vlogged in like it's been like two weeks not like a week I don't know y'all but I got a new robot vacuum which I don't think y'all saw I have to go look back and see what what was in the last vlog but now I can't remember but I got some stuff for the kids and so anyways yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I think we're just gonna go to Kroger actually do some grocery shopping and then go from there we also might host fourth of july over here at our house yeah yeah yeah. let's clean up really really quickly this is not gonna be anything aesthetic i'm literally gonna put y'all here and i'm gonna like zoom around the house let's go all right this is a quick way of how i'm gonna make my grocery list i'm just gonna take a picture of the fridge so I can see what I have, what I don't have. Woo, woo. 
Okay, I'm gonna unload the dishwasher and load it really fast, and then we'll head upstairs, and then we'll be good to go. It's like all coming back to me now. I'm remembering what I was supposed to be starting off this week doing, finishing up the house. The house is like the last thing on my mind right now, y'all, to be honest, but we'll get back to it eventually. <laughs> Okay, upstairs we go. Oh, robot vacuum? Okay. Quick clean of this. Okay, I changed my mind about cleaning upstairs because my energy is already depleting because I didn't eat breakfast today. So I need to go pick myself up something to eat and then I can always circle back to this a little bit later and pick up after the kids come home from school. And they can help me because they need to help clean up their toys anyways because who do I look like? Not they made. Um, but it's nothing more than just like a little pickup up here. We had some laundry that came, so we need to put it away. I need to organize the back of them back up, but I'm going to go ahead and head out so I can get myself some, like refill myself. Cause I need some water. I haven't had water all day. I haven't had breakfast. So I'm going to go get myself some water. I'm going to probably blend this, this one out a little bit, but I'm keeping this right here on my chin. The other day I went to the store and I had some on my forehead and the lady was trying to tell me like, oh, you have something right there. And I was like a pimple. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she was just trying to be nice though. But okay, I'm going to meet you guys in the car. Sorry for all the phone notifications. Our like camera system around the house, one of the back cameras is like super sensitive. So like if the wind blows and it sees like a shadow on the window, it just like motion, 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 motion. So my bad, but yeah. Meet you guys in the car, we're gonna go to Starbucks, gotta go to the Apple store, and then we'll probably finish off at Kroger, come back, put the groceries away, pick up the kids. It just depends on what, what the timing is looking like, but let's go ahead and head out. My purse is already downstairs. Got my shoes on, I'm dressed. I can spray myself a little bit so I can smell at least a little, a little decent. Let's go. I do not like driving in the city, but I want to be a city girl so bad. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, y'all, I did run into the Apple store, so I'm going to unbox it with you guys when I get back home, but I ordered my new laptop, and I got an iPad for right now. My iPad, I mean, the laptop that I got is a custom laptop, and I can kind of explain it more to you guys if you're interested in it for, like, video editing and stuff, but I learned my lesson the first time with the first MacBook I ever got. You have to be pretty specific about the configurations, what you get to kind of like maximize the speed of the laptop and the integrity of it so you don't basically kill it by overdoing it with lots of footage and stuff. So I'm trying to back out of this parking spot, but there's so many cars coming. Please just let me go, baby. I accidentally was just driving on the wrong side of the street. I'll, I'm going to admit it. I wasn't going to say anything to you guys, but I was like, why are they honking at me? Oh, because I'm going the wrong way in the middle of the road. Thank God there was no cars coming, but I didn't understand because I'm like, but then I saw there was no light and I was like, why is there no light right here? I don't know what's going on, but they need to have some better signage because I was just coming out of a parking lot. Like, how was I supposed to know I couldn't turn that way? Like, there was not a sign. Surely there probably was, but I didn't see it. That's the moral of the story. But anyways, now we're going to head to Kroger. Hopefully they just have a Starbucks in the Kroger and then we can just, you know, get 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 it going. We're only six minutes away. I came to like Knox and Henderson area. Sorry. I'm sure these people are like, what in the freaking fuck are you doing? I'm just not used to driving over here. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, they went past me there. Clearly fuming. I'm sorry. I never claimed to be, I'm not a bad driver. I just have like a horrible sense of direction. That's all. So just take that into consideration. Yeah, we're headed to Target. Thank God. The Apple store wasn't really that crowded. Ooh, I should go to this liquor store right here. No, I don't because I'm done drinking. I really want to show y'all the last vlog. Like just the little clippets of it so that y'all can know what like what just transpired the last couple of because y'all would understand i'm not drinking ever again i'm not i think i told y'all a little bit i was drunk 
or hungover, yeah. It's a no for me, baby. Okay, I'm having second thoughts about this and I can't hear because my headphones on. So I'm gonna walk around the store and take pictures of things that I want and I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna go my girlfriend's online. <laughs> because nothing about this is so I can get Like I have to, the card is messed up for it. So I have to get the groceries prepped with the card, take them out, go to check out, and then here, and take them out, and then here, and Thank you. Okay, I got the frozen uh, strawberry acai lemonade from Starbucks and got peach juice. The last time I got this, I did get it frozen, but he did a good job. Like, he really blended it up. The last time, it was not very good, but... And he's, like, one pump of, like, cane sugar or something. And he's something. I added peach juice, but I need a little something else, but... I got my Starbucks, like I said. Then get somebody else to do it, because all the produce in there is bad anyway, so... I'm pretty sure there's a Whole Foods close by, so we're just gonna book it over to Whole Foods. Yeah, it's one mile away, so we're gonna go to Whole Foods really fast. So I know Whole Foods will always have good produce. I, w I'm gonna, I, want, I do want to get my produce not on Instacart, and then I'm gonna place the Instacart order when I get home for the rest of the stuff, and then yeah. But I was getting social anxiety in here. I don't know what type of croaker this is. I don't know, babe, but it was not a vibe. It was not giving the vibes and it's crowded like this parking lot is packed i guess because the day before fourth of july i probably picked a bad day to come outside but it's all right i can't even back out it's so packed i don't know i could change the view on this camera in this car i can't even hate on this car i was gonna say i was gonna say i love this car but that's an overstatement and the brakes are squeaking so let me stop let me stop but one adult lesson i've learned and it sucks that you gotta learn everything on your own because your mom will probably tell you, everybody tell you, and you just don't listen. You just gotta find out for yourself. So I'm probably wasting my breath, but baby, if you're younger, take older people's advice. If you're gonna buy a car, just buy either like something that you know is reliable brands like Toyota, Honda, the car will, you'll have it for forever. I like this car because the range broke down. I still got an, at least I still got this car. You know what I'm saying? She's not going anywhere i have a honda accord it's a 2019 i believe because that's when i got it it's like 2019 anyway so yeah i will never buy another car again like a nicer car i'm just gonna lease them i'm still trying to figure out what i want to do about the range me and aaron were talking about it and going back and forth and we think the best bet is probably just to get it fixed get it fixed for now and then maybe trade it in for a lease so we're gonna uh, hopefully it's a holiday weekend so i was thinking i'm gonna get back on my zoom this week but it's fourth of july so it's everything's closed until wednesday target's across the street that target is so not my vibe though and it's so sad please don't do that you know when a car is in this line you the truck like don't creep up so that i can't see when i'm trying to turn right like that don't make no sense okay i'll see y'all at home. Okay, we have made it home. I guess we can open up our iPad. I did get a computer, I mean a computer, a keyboard to go with it as well so I can pretty much try to use the same functionalities as the computer until I get my computer back. I'm really sad about this. My computer was fair, it wasn't new, but like it had a lot of life left in it. Okay, so I'm just really upset about that, but Let's unbox it. It's always nice to unbox something new. I'm very grateful that I feel like I could still go and get an iPad and be able to edit on anyway. So I'm trying to keep a positive spirit. I know y'all don't know what's going on. It will make sense in due time. But yeah. So anyways, without saying too much more, let's open her up. And pretty much it's the same exact thing that I had before. And y'all know I just started getting back on my iPad Zoom. So I really just hope that all of my stuff is backed up. Like all my iCloud stuff. Because I'm going to be sad if it didn't. Because y'all know I was using my good notes for a lot of stuff. And I had like all my prayer journals in there and everything. So, okay. 
So the specs for the iPad that I got, just like if you're thinking about an iPad business-wise, just some things to think about. I always try to get the most storage. It just makes it a lot easier. If you're not a content creator or you don't have a lot of like pictures or memories and stuff, then you might not need it. But for me, I feel like it's necessary. So I get the two TV, two terabyte iPad. And then I always get the larger screen because I can't see I'm blind. blind. Anyways, I'm being dramatic, but. This is what it looks like. I'm about to cut it on real quick. Hopefully it has some battery on there. I already have a case upstairs, so I didn't get a case while I was there. It comes with a charger, cause y'all know Apple be playing about their chargers now. They do not be like when you give the girls the chargers. I'm gonna keep the box and stuff just for now, just in case. The only thing I'm sad about is I'm gonna have to buy Final Cut Pro twice, but I think they're doing a free 90 day trial right now. So, it's cool. Enter in my Wi-Fi password. Okay, I am excited about the keyboard because I've never had a keyboard before from Apple. And the girl told me herself, she was like, if I don't want to keep the keyboard for whatever reason, like if I get my computer my computer in, then I can bring the, the this back because this is also pretty expensive. I guess it just acts as a case. You can get it in black and white. I got white, cause that's my aesthetic. It just looks like this. I don't really know exactly how you, I wonder if it just is magnetic. Oh yeah, okay. So it's just like a magnet. It pretty much looks like a little mini laptop. Face ID, continue, rotate, get started. That part's always fun. If this would just work and I didn't need the computer, then I wouldn't really have gotten the laptop. But I know with all the editing I do and like all the footage that I have that I was gonna need a computer. But I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to get into my iCloud. We're about to find out. Oh, also I didn't go to Whole Foods cause the city parking is just too much for me to handle. I need assistance from somebody else, baby. Ooh, hopefully it will put all my stuff back on here. Whenever the devil see you doing good, he always try to knock you down, baby. I mean, anytime anything super good happens in my life, something equally as traumatic, or if not worser, if I was having that perspective, happens right after. Never fails. Cause I'd be just going about my merry way like, ooh. And then here he come just, Boom, I'm like, up. Oh. Okay, latest iPad backup. Let's do June 27th. Did it work? I like this little keyboard thing in the I'm, I'm digging this. Continue update your iPad automatically. Yeah, let's just go ahead and put it on. Set up later. Listen, if I can edit on here like how I be doing and I can do all the stuff that I be doing on my computer on this lap, on this iPad. Oh, I'm not even gonna get, get the, iPad, the computer back. Okay, but let me show y'all something. My friend, shout out to the girls, cause my friends, even if I don't talk to them all the time, like this is a girl that I went to high school with, but we'd like text occasionally. And she just randomly sent me a TikTok today and it's about this new camera. And it's kind of like, y'all know that mini D, DJI 3 that I got? I like that, but it's also kind of like, I can only use it for B-roll and when I'm out in certain places, like it's just not like an everyday vlog camera, it's not 4K, it's not, the audio's not great on it, which is cool, but you know, it's nice and compact for like when I'm just out and about. But this camera right here is fire. I'm not gonna play the whole TikTok, but I'm gonna show you guys on Amazon and then kind of just explain it to you. Um, and I already watched like a YouTube review video on it. I would suggest everybody, if you're gonna purchase anything, watch a YouTube review about it. Somebody will have something. That way you'll know if it's actually like what you're looking for and if it's worth buying. But basically it looks like this. I think I am gonna go ahead and get it just cause of the features that it offers with the mounting. But it looks like this. And you can basically like wear it on your shirt like that. I mean, it's still gonna be kind of obvious that you're vlogging and people might might think it's weird because you know you just got a little camera on your shirt, but be so for real. Like, you can put it any, look, you can attach it to your pets. Oh, it went away. Anyways, y'all. It's got these really cool configurations, so I was thinking about getting it and maybe testing it out. 
because it just kind of helps you get different point of views, different angles that you normally wouldn't be able to get with standard cameras um, as far as like where you can mount it at. But I'm really trying to up my quality of my content. I can't, I'm not going to tell. I'm not going to spill all my tea just yet. But now I'm working on it. Every time I get almost close to like, okay, I'm going to start transitioning over to how I'm going to start my vlogs and like the sense of like how I'm talking to y'all, what I be doing, is not going to change. I just am trying to make it like the elite vlogger status. Like, you know, just always trying to improve. But every time I get to that point, then something happens and it's like, okay, I pushed back a little delay or something. So I'm not going to make any promises as to when that's going to happen. But know that it's on my mind. I've been thinking about it. So, yeah, I'm going to let that finish. I'm going to go ahead and place this grocery order since that kind of didn't go very well. I mean, I tried, but the cart was broken. The Kroger produce was not given. Whole Foods was just, it was crowded outside. I'm sorry. I get really bad social anxiety. Like, unless I'm just out with somebody else and I'm like, okay, cool. Especially trying to find parking in the city. No. I feel like I did a good job today. I mean, I got out a little bit. I did. I be in the house a lot, y'all. Y'all see me. But I did get out a little bit. I went in there. I gave my best foot forward. But honestly, it just don't make no sense. Like, I think I'm going to do Whole Foods order on Amazon. Because no matter what, if I get my produce delivered from Whole Foods, it's usually still good. Because Whole Foods is just known for having good quality stuff. I'm just not going to order it from Kroger. But I did already start my cart on Kroger I walked around a little bit so I'm like in my head I'm like okay I'm gonna get a couple of extra things I'm gonna probably do it on my mm, well no I like ordering my groceries on my computer and I don't have my computer that but now I gotta do all this scrolling to find everything but in other news I can say I'm excited because my friend is here for the summer which I was talking to y'all about in a vlog that I think y'all didn't see from last week but she's here so she's gonna help me get the podcast room all set up and together and so hopefully that will be rolling out soon I really wanted to be able to start it somewhere up in this month but I don't know we still gotta order furniture for the kids rooms I was trying to just wait and do like room by room by room but it's just like life is just happening so fast that it just doesn't seem like that's how it's gonna play out like I thought I was just gonna be able to you know I was gonna get the kitchen done this week with y'all and then okay so after that week we're gonna move on to upstairs to the kids room and I just thought it was gonna go so perfectly and peacefully but that's just not the realities of life baby okay it just, just never happens like that no matter how hard you try to force it it just doesn't ever happen like that but okay let me stop talking and finish this because I also need to text. I'm sure they're not going to respond, but oh, he did message me back. I never responded to him. I got to have pest control come out here. We have spiders like it's nobody's business. I mean, and I mean, big, big, big old biggity. And I'm not being dramatic. Big spiders like the backyard and stuff. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't even want to go out there anymore. And then there also has been some like spiders in the house that are pretty big. That's why I keep moving if y'all see me being fidgety it's because i'm literally like looking around i had to kill one this morning and we're not off to a good start like but anyways i need a message pest control and i need a message about the window treatments the guy for the window still i don't know why his spot he clearly don't want my business because i'd be having to run run him down about trying to get some some shades up in the house but let me do all my adulting stuff and then i'll come back and talk to y'all real quick peace out Okay, slight interruption, but this is actually really live. Like, it really works like a computer. I don't know if y'all can see that, but like, I want to download um, Final Cut Pro. Oh my gosh, I might not get that computer, y'all. I gotta, I gotta download all my stuff on here and see if I can do everything on a desktop that I can do on here. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Click on this first, because I want to say... Maybe I don't have to buy it again because I already have it. It didn't say how much it cost, it did it now? Usually it will say the price. Hold on, 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 hold on. Maybe because it's connected to my iCloud. If I didn't have to pay for it again, that would honestly be like amazing. But I want to find something that has a price on it so I can see. I'm literally using this like I'm on a computer. Okay. Oh yeah, see look, it says like the price. I don't know if y'all can, if it's close enough to see that. Okay, we might be able to get fun of a pro. Don't, don't play me now. I mean, that would be dead wrong. If they did that, would that not? I also want to download CapCut on here. 
because they be saying that cap cut go hard on the edits so let's see okay how do you go on so i put oh my goodness look at final cut pro oh wait 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 oh see that's some bullshit but i did final cut pro on the ipad is less expensive you can try it for one month for free and then only 4.99 a month are you shitting me oh my gosh on the laptop it's like 300 dollars shut the flip up what's the price difference if you buy it yearly five times 12 that's 60 dollars so you save 10 dollars if you buy it for the year i mean that's just really kind of i'm already that's really kind of live oh my gosh start editing with a demo project lunar year what is a demo project this gonna be lit y'all i'm trying i literally haven't edited in so long i'm just trying to like make sure i can still edit import okay okay as soon as i don't see hopefully there's no videos on here let me import by recording a video mm. flip the camera babe oh look at us <laughs> okay big period done can we turn up the resolution oh you can turn it up to 60. all right done and this is why i'm deceived by the camera because that is not what i just did looked at like five seconds ago why does it why why I've come to the terms with that I'm ugly, but it's okay. Okay. I wonder if the, um, okay, yeah. Command V, Command V. Okay. Okay. Okay, we might have just, we might have just did something now. Let's play it back and see what it sounds like. I mean, where is that coming from? Is it coming from my headphones? These AirPods Maxes are low-key ass. I'm not even gonna cap to you. Beats is better, but can I turn the volume up right here? Now I just gotta figure out where everything is. I don't know what this is. I don't know where all the stuff is though. Okay, cause like on the computer you have like all these other different functionalities you can use. Like, I don't know. I'm gonna have to play around with it for a second and see. User guide, what is this? Okay, 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 Here, here's all the stuff. So this is like if you wanted to drag and drop a filter on there. I don't wanna do that, but if you want to. Period. Okay, and then look, I can, I can, I can get active on here. Oh, can I? Come on now, I can start dragging. Um, hello, ma'am, Pam. Can I not touch it? Oh, I can. Oh, this is actually live. I don't really use a lot of the like cool features they have on, on Final Cut Pro on the computer anyways, but this is kind of live. Okay, transitions, titles. Sorry, I got a little caught up in doing that, but that's kind of cool. I mean, I had to move y'all over so the light was facing this way. But anyways, I always knew that you could like edit on your like iPad, but with this keyboard, this kind of, it makes it like elite. And I got an Apple Pencil, girl, girl. And it's only $4.99. Start your YouTube channel right now, babe. Cause what? $4.99 a month? When I first bought Final Cut Pro, when I was trying to, you know, you know, start up everything, it was like $400, I think, to put it on the computer. But no, no, no. This is live. Now I will say I haven't started to get into anything to like editing 4K clips on here and downloading the memory onto here and all that kind of stuff. And this is not a custom iPad. It just has two TBs of storage. The part that makes the computer run slower fast is like the processor and the memory, which I didn't upgrade on here. I just bought it as is. So we'll see how much it can take, but I didn't even know that this was an option if that makes sense. So I'm kind of like really happy with this. I'll probably play around with it for the next couple days. And then if I don't need to get my computer, then I won't, I'll edit off the iPad. You know what I'm saying? Like I really only use, oh, I need to 
yeah okay there was other things that i used my my stuff for so i do need to log in and just see if i can still do that okay so far so good but yeah girl let me finish ordering these groceries so they can get here either by the time i come back and pick up the kids or before i pick up the kids but i don't want them to come while i'm not here and then they sit outside so let me go ahead and get a move on everything I'm out of breath and it is literally hey Siri what's the weather it's so hot hey Siri oh my God. the disrespect in this house is ridiculous what's the weather what is the weather what's the weather girl it's currently cloudy and 98 degrees it don't feel like no 98 baby it feels about 105 this strawberry lemon though is Fire! I like it better than the whatever the other one I was drinking before. Why are you on your own? I'm gonna let it be all in white clothes because it's getting and mommy looking at all the white clothes, so I want it to be super duper cold. Y'all want any microwave popcorn? Oh yeah. Right now? Right now? Right now? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's not gonna take that long though. Yeah. Okay, no, 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 no,
This is pantry. I gotta remember to put my paper plates on auto delivery from Amazon. Because they're so much cheaper and it's way less. I'm about to make you a drink. That's what I was getting to. How he set me up perfectly. Okay. I saw this mom on TikTok and she basically said she gives her kids this anytime they're sick or start to have a runny nose. And it's called Immunity Plus Y. And it's the elephant spray. You be so jealous. I can hug my other son. Carson was giving me a hug. So no, no. Boy, they are my kids first. You is the newcomer here. What are you mad about? I can pick you up anymore, boy. I can't pick you up with the baby in my hand for sure. Here, let me see. cocktail though basically she said she gives her kids that immunity juice and mix it with coconut water and then also gives them elderberry gummies and he always constantly has a, a, a daycare runny nose like ever since he started going to school like it's just consistent the nose runny Carter has a little bit of cough she said she also gives them orange slices but they had some oranges this morning so I'm just gonna make a little drink see what happens in the morning I don't know if this is a remedy it's obviously not, not medication but Oh, Mommy. Yes, he's on me. Let's make a drink. Yes. How long has it been since we had juice in the house? Can you sit down, please? Like you are such a hit baby. I can't do nothing right here. You gonna have to sit on the counter or something, dude, because I can't just pick you up. All right, we need some ice. Okay, she did half juice, half coconut water. I would have gotten Creative Roots um, coconut water, but they don't be having it in stock nowhere, like, at all. Oh, I just spilled. Lovely. I don't know what you're saying. I know you're saying something in Spanish, but I have It's called Abla e Gobo. Abla e Gobo. Can someone translate Carson, speak Spanish. I have no idea what you're saying. It sounds like Spanish to me, but look. Listen, I failed Spanish twice. I had the average pass in high school. Here, come get some of this. What are you going to do with that? What will happen to you? Nothing. Would it make you feel better? Mm hmm. It's going to help your cough. Is it good? Does it taste good? It's and drinkable. This made me feel better. Let's see if I can't <coughs> It's toddler approved. Mom, it's good. Let's try that again. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh. Alright, let's put this juice in the fridge. I can't put you down because you're gonna cry. 
I can't put you on the counter because you're messing with everything. Let me see your feet. Let me look at them. When we were in Tyler, he got bit by a whole bunch of ants and his little poor feetsies. You went to poor feetsies. Oh, he's not even gonna go get bit. Hey, Tyler, you I'm gonna put their clothes from Splash Day in the washer. And then I'll probably talk to y'all or see y'all for din din when we start cooking, probably about an hour or so. Y'all still want some macaroni hot dogs? Hey. It's too chaotic right now. We need to get settled. Alright. So dinner time. We just played for a little bit. The boys don't want to cook with me, so I'm not gonna force it. That didn't last very long. We're just gonna make a quick chicken alfredo. Pulled chicken. And then I'm doing tortellini instead of like regular fettuccine noodles. It says open the package, add pasta, <laughs> the boiling water. Okay. So I'm make sure you have to boil tortellini a little bit differently. The baby's been fussy all day, so. We're doing dinner a little bit early and he's gonna go to bed a little bit earlier. Cause one thing about it, two things for show. We is not gonna be doing all that screaming. I'm basically just gonna put all the stuff on the stove. I'm just gonna show you guys the ingredients that I use. This is what I'm gonna use for the sauce. So pretty self-explanatory. I'm just gonna heat this up on the stove in a large pan. Boil some water for the noodles and get it cracking. My brother is having his baby today. It is Thursday, July 6th, and we're headed to the store to go make a postpartum basket for his girlfriend. He doesn't get anything because the dads don't do anything. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'll probably like bring them some food when I bring the basket, but we're going to go make her a little postpartum basket. We're also going to go to probably Trader Joe's, get some fresh flowers. Haven't had any of those in the house. And then we got to get a couple of little grocery items while we're at Trader Joe's, like milk and juice for the kids. I haven't talked to y'all. I'm very sorry about this vlog, but just, just know, just know it's, it's going to, it's going to get better next week, hopefully, but let's just go ahead and go. Let's just go ahead and go. be so proud of me if you saw this entire huge tripod I have in this Target. I can't come to Target and not shop for stuff for myself because I literally look at everything I'm like mm, I might need towels now mm, I might need this cup we're gonna stay on track on the list <sighs> okay baskets we need a basket first social anxiety she's freaking out that I have my camera everybody's looking at us okay I need a I need a hold on hold on hold on let's pick a basket not none of those down there. What about this? Oh, why do you always go for this basket? I like it. I have the same practical. basket. I, I feel like this is a practical basket to also use. Oh, you know what we should do? What? I wonder if she has a caddy. You know, like to oh. a changing thing. That would be cute. 
and stack everything inside the caddy. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, I'm gonna roll that in the hospital. The doctor's doctor. giving. Why are you doing it to, to the hospital? I'm going to see her while she's. Oh yeah, this is it. The white's cute too. It could be like a whole little changing station. You could put diapers. Mm-hmm. Should we get gray or white? Definitely uh, white. Yeah, white's pretty neutral. Go with white. I just don't really want to have to put it together. Okay, these really are not what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go over to the period aisle. The period panties are more, how many is in here, eight? I'm just trying to be practical and get her what she. I know she's gonna need, because there's a lot of stuff in here that you don't, like I can get more period panties for less than by the Frida brand. But I wanted to get her stuff like if she wants to try like these cookies, see like this kind of stuff, like, I think she said she was gonna breastfeed for a little bit. You know, when you're a new mom, you just want to try everything. But you might not want to buy it, but you're like, oh, I saw this on TikTok, does it work? This should be expensive. So I'm just gonna like get little stuff. Ding dong. Okay, I'm gonna get Dermaplast. I'm gonna look on TikTok really quick. So, okay. I was gonna get this, because this is like, it has everything in here, but it doesn't have the balm. You know what? Hmm? Pajamas are over here. Okay, I hate when they don't have the matching tops. I'm just going to row. Gray, white, or white. I like this keep the, keep the trend with the white. This is cute, look. Yeah. It's, I like this one. Yeah. Let me see. Mm. Those are softer, but they stain easier. Really? I think this material this is, is more realistic. I have that. I used to have that. It's short. short. Yeah, this one's long. Yeah. You think I should get a medium or a large? No, there's something on the back of that. Oh my god. <gasps> what size is that? All of them are tainted. That, that means something. Okay. Okay, let's take a smell test. Oh, it smell bad. I like the Frenchie bread. I like both of these fragrances. I like that one. The other one better. I thought you were going to say that. Oh, this is the body wash. Right. Do they have a lotion? That's a candle. Should we get the candle? Yeah. Smell the bath bombs. Oh, hell no. Perfect. Why does that smell different? I guess it was just too strong. I don't smell anything different about it. Really? Ooh, let's smell this one. Mm. Mm. That's bad. You smell the candle shit. That's gonna be the lip. That candle smells bad. I like that. Um, I like vanilla. It's something. It's maybe that cashmere. It's too strong for me. I like this candle better. I was trying to see if it had a body butter, like a lotion to go with this, but I don't see it. Yes, yes. Bring it these two. I like the I like the you spray. Like it but I don't like it. Even in the oil, it's dumb. It's that cashmere. It's too strong. <laughs> then somebody's really gonna take that to heart and be like, she's so mean to oh her God. friend. No, she's not. Listen, she's I'm more mean. mean to her than she's mean to me. Bing bong. We're gonna do this. Even though she said it was unnecessary, I think it matches the vibe of the basket. And I like functional beauty, so. Oh, look at you organizing the car. I've never tried the mask before though, so I'm gonna get her the mask. She does have curly hair. Oh, and this goes with the pink too. I, my problem is I do too much, but. Okay, moving on. I think I have a really razor. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit of a trick. Yeah. I know, it's a problem. <laughs> I didn't get anything for myself. Oh, okay. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, huh? <laughs> Alright, Trader sad. Joe's, here we come. Are you gonna go or did you want to steal my spot? You want to steal my spot? Cool. Yeah. Shake your ass. Show me what you're working with. <laughs> If the show when is Baggy's home? I finished the. I need to watch I know, the reunion with Tommy. Did you see the. Uh, He's only coming to the store! Oh, 
Oh yeah, yeah that shit was terrible. What? The, the reunion? I can't keep telling you about it, but yeah, it was terrible. Okay, well, I'm gonna watch it anyways. Okay, yeah. yeah and then, right. Jocelyn's copyright comes out this I month. Know. Did you see that? No, Did I didn't watch the trailer the yet. Oh, okay. And then Crazy, Crazy in Love. You watched the first two? season? Yeah. What? I didn't know you watched it. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know you were, cause she, you be acting like. I didn't want to watch Baddies cause the first season of Baddies was ass. And right, I, I did not that. like I it. I get that, but no. I'm just ready for Jocelyn Cabaret to come back on. Facts. She's gonna be in there smacking him up. Okay. <laughs> She's their pimp. Please don't get confused. Never Natalie a is a pimp, pimp too. Yeah. A madam, they're madams. Yeah. Somebody commented on my video and they're like, you look like, you look like Natalie without the chin. Oh God, that's an insult. So, oh, Holy yes. shit. I literally am just convinced I have a universal voice and face because people who look nothing like me, everybody's like, oh, you look exactly like them. Oh, you look exactly, or you talk like this. Or I, I know you from somewhere. I'm just like, God yeah, must've gave me a, like a familiar face, but cause I swear everybody be like, you look like my, my mom, you look like my grandma. I'm like, okay. <laughs> but you know, if you like it, I love it, baby. Delusional. Let's break myself in the face. Yeah. Let me try to use up yeah. my. Mm -hmm. See, listen, that's why I can't live with girls. They just listen. Shut this up. bitch in my oil in the morning, oil in her scalp. I need five dollars. It's an out of town fee. You know when you go somewhere and you stay somewhere? <laughs> Soap is no. <laughs> I, you, I have my own stuff. No, you know when you take from out the bar, but they don't tell you the prices, they just charge you afterwards? <laughs> I'll be invoicing you when you leave my house. Them sprays <laughs> <laughs> was 50 cents a piece. <laughs> oh, a joke. She's a joke. <laughs> and I do plan to collect my coins. Oh my gosh, y'all, this was so fire though. I'm sorry, I didn't talk to y'all a lot when we got into Target. I'm very discombobulated, but a peach green tea with lemonade and then tell them to slush it up. Far. And get it sweet. You can either get it sweet or unsweet. I just say I want it sweet. Oh. And I think that means they just add like a pump of cane sugar. But it can come like that so it's not an extra charge. Because okay. Starbucks be trying to charge they like, do for everything. I heard they charging for you to blend it. Yeah, but now that they're now they're doing frozen drinks for the summer. So if you try uh -huh. to Sucker. Yeah. <laughs> like they automatically blend the strawberry acai lemonade now. Yeah. It comes in a slush. That's what's up. Oh my dirty ass seats. What? Your boy got the full body do rag out. Drop the roof and let you smoke it. I got diamonds to win since he's sliding both in. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas trip tonight. Slip that on and we might miss the fight. Fucking not, I keep the guala in my shorty bag. You know she wasn't mine when she tattooed that ass. I'm a lover boy, she not a choice. Keep it coming, you a rider. It's that roll myself a day and count my figure shit. Just that stepping out, I feel like I'm that nigga shit. I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sleep for shit. Okay. Hi. Today is Friday. I just got back. Sorry. I just flushed the toilet. I want pee. It's loud. And I just turned on the robot vacuum, so it's a little bit of noise. But I just got back from seeing my brother's baby. So that was super exciting. Um, I, did, I did take pictures, but I'm not going to show any pictures because I don't know if they're posting on social media or not or anything like that. So yeah, he's super cute. He's so little. He's giving me baby fever all over again. I'm like, so excited about that but i just came on here to really close out the vlog apologize for the vlog i feel like it was very chaotic very all over the place very sporadic um and i'm just gonna end on i am going through something that i can't talk about right now and that is the reason for kind of just the chaos of the video because it's not that I don't want to be because y'all know you know you know how your girl is but it's just hard some days for me to be like like get on camera especially because I can't talk about it right now so it's just hard to I'm not internet personality like what you see is what you get for the most part with me like everything that I I don't share every little teeny tiny detail of my life mostly because those aspects of my life are connected to other people and this is they don't choose to put their life on the internet but me and my family are going through something right now and i will keep you guys posted but 
the vacuum in the background is ruining my whole sentimental speech I'm trying to do, but I mean, we're fine, we're safe, we're healthy, so those things excluded, but I just wanted to say that because I know it's easy to think like, whatever, I don't know, I don't know, like some people get it, some people don't like, but I am going through something, so please be patient with, with me. Um, I'm trying to get back into regular scheduled programming, but like, as you guys can tell, I've been vlogging like one day and then not vlogging for a couple days. And it's just cause there's been a lot going on. So yeah, next week though, I am excited. Hopefully if everything goes smoothly, like going into next week and I'm able to just kind of like get back into the flow and like everyday life, we're gonna probably start like back up with some home updates and doing the kitchen and the living room and um, maybe doing some DIYs and stuff like that. There was one other thing. Oh, we're probably gonna go car shopping next week too. So, cause y'all know the whole situation with the range and then I have my other car, which I'm probably gonna trade in and get a, try to get a lease. But anyways, yeah, I will see you guys next week. I'm not gonna make a promise. I was gonna say I promise, but I'm gonna see y'all next week, hopefully. And keep your girl in your prayers, please. Okay, that's all.